Hello. We don't always have a training partner at hand. So this blog shares tips for practicing alone. Welcome to Uli's Armadon Kali Vlog Training Alone. Guest starring Stefan Munz from Kampfkunstzentrum Reutlingen and Roland Roppelt from Kali Manufaktur München. Double BAM! Greetings to Stefan Munz in Liechtenstein, a proud member of the trainer team in Kampfkunstzentrum Reutlingen. You rock! Stefan hit the nail right on the spot. With a bit of creativity and entrepreneurship, solo training offers endless possibilities and lots of fun. Me, when I can train in a group of enthusiastic Kali practitioners, and there are no other people, I enjoy the energy and motivation that comes from the group. One of the reasons, actually, why I choose martial arts is because I like training together with partners. Good partners support and help us to become better. In short, with good partners, training is more productive and more, much more fun. However, exercising solo also has its advantages. Mm, yes, if you train alone, you can train where you want, what do you want, as long as you want, and whenever you want. Yet, training alone also has its disadvantages and difficulties. Particularly in martial arts, when you are alone, there is nobody who will, for example, strike at you so that you can practice your defense and counteractions. There are many more shortcomings in training alone, particularly in martial arts. However, the most common difficulty in solo training is how to maintain your motivation. And yeah, logistics also may cause complications because these days, Time is a valuable resource, more than ever. So many responsibilities keep us busy in our life. Having a family with young children, irregular working hours, traveling for work, private commitments, they tend to fragment the day and make it difficult to find space and time for training. In this vlog, I will share some tips for training alone. Well, I recommend the following procedure for everyone who, like me, travels a lot, has irregular working hours and a very busy schedule. When I design a training curriculum for myself, training alone, then I like to consider the three design concepts. Overview, multiple effect, short and compact. These are also design concepts that apply to Armadon Kali as a whole. Let's look at them in detail. First, overview. Concentrate, this is my advice, concentrate on three basic exercises. If I have more time, I can do more, but I don't want to lose oversight of my core exercises. And yeah, multiple effect. I myself like to use exercises in which Balance and coordination, as well as strengthening and stretching, are practiced at the same time. That way, one exercise has multiple effects. We need to save time, because time is a valuable asset. So I like my exercises to be short and compact. I personally prefer to do short and compact workouts that I can activate in the day whenever possibility arises. If planning a long time consuming workout, it may not find a place in the dynamic day with a lots of activities. If I have more time, I can extend the short workout or repeat it multiple times if there are many short slops. Anyway, 
a short, compact workout done is better than a long, elaborate, that may never happen. So, once you decided for the exercises that you want to do, the next weeks or months, one of the other problems is already showing on the horizon out there. How to keep your motivation. I recommend, according to the philosophy that we discussed in the last block, that whenever you do your exercises, before you start, take a short time to reflect your goals. Become goal conscious, goal aware, as we said in the last block. Before you start the workout, visualize the meaning of your workout. What you want to achieve with it. How you will feel when you have successfully completed the workout. And remember your short-term goals. Do the workout with a purpose and know the purpose before you start the workout. And then strive for satisfaction. Have realistic expectations. And then be aware of and enjoy every small progress. And the workout will provide you with satisfaction. And that will lead to have fun. Not every moment of a martial arts training is fun. Nah. Part of martial way is to confront situations that maybe are intimidating. But we learn to handle and overcome obstacles. Whatever happened in the training at the end of the workout, you should have made progress. You should know that and you feel, should feel good. Another important topic to consider, of course, when training alone is endurance training, cardio exercises. It is a good idea to add endurance training to your workout plan. For example, rope skipping or stick jogging. Personally, I like stick jogging because it is full of variations and fun. It makes you use your surroundings, improves Kali footwork at the same time, and includes other coordinative elements by swinging the sticks. It also combines aerobic and anaerobic elements. Naturally, when you train cardio, those exercises need more preparation, more logistical preparation, because they need more time. They cannot be done in one, two minutes. So find something you enjoy that you can make this time in the day, at least once or twice a week. The best workout is the one you really do, right? So whatever you choose for your core exercises, whatever you do, follow yourself. There are so many inspirations on the internet, so many training devices you can buy somewhere. Using these resources makes sense, but be careful not to lose yourself in the diversity of these offers. And remember, what is right for the one person may be boring for another one and even dangerous for the next one. So training should be tailored to the individual. So once again, follow yourself. A trainer is there to help you. A good trainer will help you to see possibilities, to discover meaning of the exercises, to set suitable goals and to develop your body awareness. The trainer can help you, but you have to make the decisions and you have to do the training. Sometimes all we need is some inspiration what we can train. So next we will show you some practical training suggestions which are based on an exchange of ideas and training principles that I had with my good friend Roland Rorpels a couple of weeks ago. Enjoy now the presentation from Roland, trainer in the Kali Manufaktur Munich. More clips and more trainers will be featured in future vlogs. Hello. So, Due to the ongoing corona crisis, I find myself, like many of you, unable to train with my group reg regularly. 
So what I did is I started um, to perform the abecedario at my home and filmed it and sent it to my group in small bits via our Freema group. Um, my next project should have been double stick conditioning movements and I was asking Uli about some input and then I opened Pandora's box and he said hey why don't you do this in English and for the whole community and we shared some moves and this is my attempt to, to share with you the Amadong Manufaktur double stick conditioning system or something like that. Um, I will use mainly two rattan sticks but sometimes I will show something with two small clubs because I'm in the lucky position to have them and only uses them as well and for some moves heavier sticks or clubs are cool for some moves I could not do it and I would uh, use lighter sticks um, I cannot perform everything full force because A my kids are sleeping and B um, the ceiling is low so we will see how this works but all in all I'm looking forward to present to you the double stick conditioning system that um, will be like I guess 16 moves or so in subgroups and I think it will be like six or seven videos we will see for all the moves you are about to see the idea is that there is no dogma there should not be a right or wrong approach um, as long as you explore and combine you are on the right path so there will be very simple moves there will be some that are quite difficult to do and maybe you're not able to do them and there will be a lot of moves that you have seen and you will do them slightly different use another footwork or whatever and that's that's fine that's actually good so um, i just give you the ideas and um, which one you like what do you do what you do combine is up to you um, so the first ones i do is a very simple warm-up movement and it's the smash behind You've done this empty hands, you've done this with sticks. You start with a low stance or low stick position and you just hit behind you, hit behind you. You can combine it with your breathing. You can follow the stick or you can hit your nap. Um, I like to do them to open up the shoulders and that's why I put them in the beginning. What I do sometimes is that I take the second possible strike in the hirada and combine them now with both hands. And because this prepares my shoulder for what is about to come, I put them first. It's the smash behind. The next subset is slashes like the panastas and I start very easy in base 7 reverse 7 so any and this is basically the connection and where we say goodbye to the classical Sunavali stuff and from here my next strike has the following idea I want to start from a chamber number one, forehand chamber, and I want to be able to strike a backhand as soon as possible. So what I do is I make a very short wall and then I just strike a backhand, which um, is the thing I use constantly during sparring and it works quite well. You fake the forehand and then you make it a backhand. So I make a short wall and strike. Put it in front of the one of my face, strike. It looks a little bit like a single six done wrong, but now you know the idea. I want to do a backhand from a forehand chamber without chopping my own head off. The third strike is the same thing with an upward strike. So I'm here, and I strike up, and I strike up, and up, and up. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and the ideas and concepts presented in this vlog. We will appreciate your like and your share and don't forget to abo our channel.
Keep your body and mind sharp, power up and Kali on. <laughs>